Hello everyone out there, Kevin from CC Pipe once again, where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives. Today I want to show you the InDesign book panel and try and show you how it can help you when working in InDesign. Okay, I'll start us off by saying that if you never work with larger documents or publications, the book panel may or may not be quite as useful for you. But uh, that said, what is it? Well, in short, when your InDesign document gets a bit too heavy to run smoothly and you need to split things up into multiple documents, the book panel helps you connect them together and uh, sync things from one place. And it allows us to sync, for example, styles, set up page numbers and package preflight and export the whole thing when we're done. And uh, it's not a perfect tool and it can be a bit quirky sometimes, but it's definitely worth knowing. Okay, let's get straight into it. It's almost a bit of a hidden feature in InDesign to find a panel you need to create or open a book document and uh, that you can do under File, New and Book. Uh, but I have already set up one, so let's just open it up from Bridge, which I have over here. Now it reveals the mysterious book panel and as we can see, it's a bit empty right now and uh, that's because we need to add our documents. So let's do that and that we do by clicking on the plus here and uh, we select these documents over here and then just press OK. Now that we have something to work with, let's just go through what's in here. And we have our documents, we can handily see the page spans and uh, this icon indicates which is the master document which will be used for syncing. And of course we can open up the documents by double clicking them in the list. And uh, there are also some buttons here, but I usually use the options menu instead because everything is in there. And uh, when making changes, you select the documents to include. So we'll be selecting all of them here. And uh, now we can move over to the options. And we can do basic things like add, save and close. Uh, but what I'll be looking at though is these three sections here. The pre-flight package, etc. here. And uh, synchronize and uh, lastly numbering. Let's start with the first one. And uh, we can pre-flight, which I have a video about by the way. And I'll put it on screen. When we run it, we get red or green over here, indicating if there are any errors. And uh, we could also have checked a generate report to put it all in a separate file. And uh, we can also package, which is, uh, if you don't know, we'll put all the assets and documents together in a folder. Then we can export. And uh, this is uh, personally, I think, something that's very handy when working on magazines and not having to open up export and close every document separately. Next is the big one, synchronize. First, a word of warning. Uh, if you press synchronize here, it will open all documents, synchronize them according to the set master, this one over here, and save and close them. And uh, this means you can't undo it. So if you're scared or unsure of how it works, why not make a backup copy first? I always go here first though, and uh, the synchronize options. Now we get to choose what aspects we want to include in the syncing. And uh, when we are ready, we just press sync. Okay, now let's try that. These documents are already synced, but let's go into one and add something. Maybe make a new, I don't know, paragraph style. And uh, we could call it, if this is here, it works. Now, save the document and we make sure it's selected as the master over here. And uh, then we press sync. Now it will do its thing and uh, then we can go and check the documents and it should, seems to be there, yeah. Last one, numbering. Now this one I unfortunately feel could be improved upon and uh, that's because we can only change one document at a time. When we've done that though, we can update all the numbering by clicking over here, update all numbers. And if we select just one document though, we can choose document numbering options. And uh, this will bring up the same dialogue as this one over here under layout numbering and section options. In here we can set up where the document page numbering starts and uh, I have all these set to automatic so they just continue from the previous one. And uh, to demonstrate that if I want this one to start with the three instead because of the cover pages since the others are set to auto if I change this to three we should see that the others will update and uh, indeed they do. We can also do some interesting things like setting a prefix and section markers and uh, these aren't really specific to the book panel but that would work something like this. In the master before the page number I have inserted a section marker and uh, none is set right now so it doesn't show but if I write in chapter one it should now appear. 
Now here's yet again the annoying part. Even if we press update numbers, this won't translate. You need to set it up for every document. There's also the option to work with chapter numbers, uh, but the principle is the same. I'll make a video about variables at some point and uh, maybe we'll look at chapter numbers then. But that was the last thing I wanted to show you in the book panel. And uh, like I said, it has its flaws, but I think it still has its place. And uh, one last thing, if you happen to close the book panel, but still have the file open, it can be found over here under window. And uh, then that would be the INDB file. Just click there and uh, then it will bring it up again. Thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out a lot. And also if you have any productivity questions or suggestions for future videos, make sure to throw those in the comments below. Once again, thank you and until next time, have a good one.